Hello dear students. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to write answers for setting up of experiment questions from physics ATP paper 6. Before we discuss the answers, we would like to discuss about what exactly is to be written in these answers. It is always suggested that to write answers to these questions in pointers format, which makes it easier for a teacher to check whether you have included all the pointers correctly in your answer or not. What pointers are we supposed to include in the answer? The first one is any additional apparatus required. So they will give you some list of apparatus for the experiment, but over and above, if you need any additional apparatus, then that must be included in this pointer. The next pointer in your answer should be procedure. You have to write briefly in four to five pointers, how would you conduct the experiment or what steps you will follow. The next pointer should be key variables or control variables. Note that whenever we write experiment, we will always check effect of one single factor on the experiment. So we have to just change one factor and check its effect and we have to keep all other factors constant. So the factors that we have to keep constant, they go in control variable. The next pointer should be precautions. If any, most of the time the question mentions that students follow the precautions that are required. So in that case, you're not supposed to include the pointers of pointer of precautions. The next is table of results. In table of results, you're going to write about the factor that you have chosen and the effect or the reading that you are going to take from that factor. Note that in the table of results, you're just supposed to include the column headings and the units of the quantities. You're not supposed to write any data in the table because you are not actually performing the experiment. You are just setting up the experiment. The last pointer in your answer should be conclusion. Again, even though you know the conclusion of the experiment, you are not going to write about conclusive statement here. You are always going to write a diplomatic statement wherein you will mention how to reach to the conclusion based on the factor that you have chosen for the experiment and its effect on the experiment by referring to the data given in the table. So if you include your pointers in the answer, it is complete answer and the teacher can easily give you marks for that.